Suicide bombers. Honestly, I'm over in, you know, in London now, absolutely dunging myself. Guys from Leeds blowing themselves up. Yorkshire Jihad. <laughs> hey? As if the Yorkshire accent isn't scary enough. <laughs> hey, that guy blew himself up from Leeds. They released the video of him before he actually went to do it. I didn't know whether I was watching Al Jazeera or Bo Selector. Honestly. <laughs> We're like, oh, folk, me bingo wings. <laughs> Death to all infidels. Kiss Queen TV. What is going on? I'm, I'm genuinely scared. I don't take tubes, don't take buses. I only fly because I have to. I'm the one at the airport, top of the check-in, rocking like Dustin Hoffman and Rain Man. Don't wanna fly, don't wanna fly, don't wanna fly. Don't wanna fly American, don't wanna fly British Airways, don't wanna fly. Wanna, 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 wanna fly Emirates, wanna fly Emirates. Muslims don't blow up Muslims. Wanna fly Emirates, wanna fly Emirates. You're flying to Birmingham, Mr. Kilty. I oh, mean, I want to. I just want to fly Emirates. Don't want to fly Emirates. Don't want to fly Ryanair. Don't want to fly Ryanair. Nobody wants to fucking fly Ryanair. Don't fly Ryanair. <laughs> <laughs> it's a jungle out there. It really is. You know, and it's scary because you know when you're from Ireland. I, I use you know Dublin Airport quite a lot. I, I'm sure you do yourself, Barbara. <laughs> Eh? Barbara's looking at me there. No, I just fly out of the city airport. I fly EasyJet because even the planes are orange. Yes. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Eh? I fly out of Dublin Airport. Dublin Airport, the most relaxed airport on the planet, bar none. Osama bin Laden himself could walk through Dublin Airport. The lads at security just be, ah, oh, Jesus, Osama, it's yourself, eh? Hey, what's the crack, eh? Hey? You're a fierce old man for the jihad, aren't you? Hey? 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 Hey, come here. And you hate the Brits, don't you? Hey? You hate the Brits? Almost as much as we do. Stick the old rocket launcher on there. You'll be glad. <laughs> Osama coming through there. Oh. Do you know that Dublin Airport is the only airport in the world where they'll actually still let you read out wee notes? Honestly, you can hand in a note. They'll read it out at information. I've missed flights handing in notes at Dublin Airport. There you go, lads. There you go. Read that out. No problem, buddy. Cheers. Uh, with passenger McDonald on there, Aer Lingus flight, EI, EIO, please report <laughs> to the farm subsidy desk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's weird, you know, been over in London now, because all my friends, they, they ask me, is it safe? Is it safe to fly? And really what they're actually, what they want to ask you is, you used to blow stuff up, what do you think? <laughs> That's it, I, I am their terrorist correspondent. <laughs> Honestly, do you think it's safe? Is it safe to fly? Is Heathrow Airport safe? Eh? Well, let's have a little think about that, will we, eh? Northern Ireland, 1.5 million people. Whenever we were been bad boys and girls, we had 25,000 soldiers to keep us safe. And in case you missed a few chapters of that, it didn't quite work, did it? <laughs> Heathrow Airport, 1.5 million people go through it in a week. How many squatties? Uh-uh. <laughs> hey, were you scared, Paddy, when you saw the tanks roll into Heathrow Airport? What? I was scared when I saw the tanks fucking leave Heathrow Airport! Because <laughs> let's be honest, if you're a soldier of Islam that's trained in a training camp on the foothills of the Pakistan-Afghan border, Learned anti-interrogation techniques, learn to blend into Western society, avoid capture. How, what's the chances you're gonna crack when Chantel at the EasyJet counter hits you with, have you packed this bag yourself, sir? That's <laughs> right, I give up. Be gone. No more saint -Tropez. be gone. You pack this bag yourself, sir. Hey, they say these questions, they only work if you be honest. Honestly. I tell the truth all the time, they don't know what to say. Any baggage, sir? Yes, my father was murdered when I was 16. I haven't had a girlfriend in four years. I don't think they're connected, but I'm working through it, sweetheart. What about you? <laughs> no need to be smart, sir. It is for your own safety. 
And there's me thinking if it was for my own safety, I'd be checked in by a former SAS officer with a history of psychological profiling and a German shepherd with a good nose for Semtex. <laughs> Not some chick in an orange blouse with split ends, two O levels, who looks like she's on day release in the Clarence counter in fucking boots. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Uh, it's not safe. It's just not safe. I don't listen to safety announcements anymore. I was flying. This is true. I was paid out to America first class. Okay? Now, I didn't pay it. Somebody else was stupid enough to pay me out first class. All right? And when I say first class, I don't mean somebody from Dungannon describing a steak. <laughs> oh, fuck, that was first class. Oh, it could have done with a few more onion rings, but by fuck, it was first class. <laughs> oh, it was a good feed. You should go there. You should go yourself. <laughs> oh, it was good fun. <laughs> Honestly, someone paid me out first class. Have you any idea what you get in first class? I walked in, I was shocked. You get a seat, it turns into a bed. You got a woman, would you like a drink, Mr. Keaton? Would you like some champagne? Would you like a hot towel? Would you like a cold towel? Would you like a massage? Would you like a sleep suit? Would you like a duvet? Would you like some Filipino lady boys to suck you off before you go to sleep? <laughs> Just a champagne and the lady boys, if that's okay. <laughs> I was actually flying back. This is how relaxed I got. I wasn't paying attention to the safety announcement at all. I was sitting in the big seat, reading my newspaper. Stewardess goes, excuse me, sir. I said, yes. Are you a flight attendant, sir? Uh, no. <laughs> well, sir, maybe if you're not a flight attendant, you should give the safety announcement as full attention in case anything should happen to this aircraft in the event of emergency or an accident, you may be able to escape from the wreckage with your life. <laughs> so listen up, sweetie. <laughs> I said, listen up, sweetie. Michael Schumacher travels in a Formula One car at 200 miles an hour. In order to survive a crash at even half that speed, he sits in a carbon fiber safety pod three times stronger than steel. He also has a flame-proof suit, a helmet, and a hook on the back of his neck attached to the car to stop it snapping like a twig on impact. We, sweetie, are about to take off in a big tin tube <laughs> and fly at 500 miles an hour well, I sip champagne in a chair not unlike the one that Joey changes the channels in in Friends. So, unless the safety announcement is going to tell me where the escape pod is on this aircraft to deliver me onto the island with the other cast members are lost, what do you say I stick my head back in the paper and you stick to chicken or beef? <laughs> doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what you say, as long as you say it with an Irish accent. Everybody loves the Irish accent. We are the American Express of accents. <laughs> Honestly, if you ever want to give anybody bad news, just give it to them in an Irish accent. It doesn't matter. That's why Sky of that weather girl with the Irish accent, even if it's pissing rain, you don't notice. <laughs> She's there giving out the forecast. People died in New Orleans because she gave out the forecast. Honestly, she was there like, and as you, as you can see, um, there's a um, huge um, hurricane underway in um, New Orleans, um, which will be um, coming up from the Gulf of Mexico, and it um, will be running right up through the whole New Orleans um, basin. And if you don't actually manage to get yourselves out of New Orleans um, in the next couple of days, um, by tomorrow lunchtime, you will be completely and totally fucked. Um, <laughs> But of course, the good news is that if you do survive, I'll still be here on Monday morning with <laughs> my lovely red locks and my voice as soft as a Connemara shower. And, and the good news is, of course, that we've named the hurricane a good Irish name, Hurricane Katrina, <laughs> which means that she won't blow you half as much as she said she would earlier tonight in the bear. <laughs> and that, my friends, is a fact.